Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an anime style health UI. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright guys, so here we are. Um, I want to get straight into it because we have to design this and then we have to also import this. So I don't want this video to be too long. So first things first is new layer we're going to we're going to start with rectangle i'm going to use a very small amount for the corner radius because uh for this anime so specifically so let's make a square and then we're going to hit ctrl t we're going to change the angle to 45. this will be our um, basically our avatar uh, frame so we can make this a gradient as well if you would like so for example we can make a new layer we can clip this layer in we can use our brush tool to add some stylization um, to this frame so if we go for you know just any kind of color here really orange we can do something like this and then Let's copy this layer. Let's go fill off, stroke, on, and make this white for now. It's like three pixels. We're gonna go change the mode, enter, and go ahead and make this like so. And this will basically be our avatar frame. Um, yeah. I'll say it looks fine so far. Um, point of this is so we can add a uh, gradient here. So, for example, just like that. That's some very nice stuff here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, next step is for us to make a new layer. In here, we're gonna take our pencil. I'm gonna go for a shape like this. Uh, if you click and hold shift, you can make a straight line like so this will be our main health bar uh, section thing so we can enlarge this don't want this to be too small um i'm gonna make this gray and then we can also you know do like a gradient if you like completely your choice it's a very slight gradient for me and basically I'm going to copy this layer I'm going to make this darker and scale this down like so um, I'm gonna fix this like angle here it's gonna work <laughs> so we got this um, I actually want to scale this thing down like so it's more appropriate okay anyways we're gonna copy this layer and then we're going to create our health bar we go for like I choose a nice color here for something like this uh, new layer right click hit create mask and then add you know, some shading like so lower the opacity 45 now we have our health bar and to stylize this ui we can add some decorative elements to the back so for example some like cool shapes here if you guys want like that I actually got a an idea here you just give me a second um let me take your pencil I just do some like cool stuff here like so we got a nice cool health bar um my idea was just basically just adding a bunch of glows I don't know if you guys want to add that but we really have 
a ton of options here. Um, for example, if I copy this, I can turn this into a gradient, right? And then place this behind. Say that looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm saying we can probably do like a some kind of effects here, like this or something. Oh no, it's up to you guys. Uh, we can also like even add like glow inside these things. I mean, when it comes to making this kind of UI, you really have a lot of creative freedom um, because it's just anime UI. So uh, I think I'm just gonna keep this. It looks pretty good. Um, let's see how a gradient would look. This thing, the lower the opacity is kind of strong. 35, uh, I think a gradient looks fine, but I'm just gonna keep it black for the epic contrast here. Okay, anyways, we're just gonna keep this. Okay, I'm clicking the wrong stuff here. Okay, so for us, lastly, I would say we should add Let's copy the avatar and then we're gonna use this for our level section. So this can go either here or like here. I guess here is like, eh, I suppose it just go like right here, it's fine. And then we're gonna add a stroke for this thing. Basically your level is just gonna go like right here. There we go, it works. I am fine with this. All right, now for us, we have to get this into Roblox Studio. So I'm gonna scale this up and we are going to figure out how to export this. So first of all, I'm gonna go for this background. So hide those two. Um, the glow, that will be separate. So this, this piece is gonna be white so we can change the color inside of studio so right here right click we hit export okay so we can undo and next we have the glow so hold control click on the icon go to this tool right click inverse backspace control u saturation down and light this up basically now we have a we have the glow with the excess cut off so it is is basically contained inside of this frame, which is what we want. So I'm gonna go export, boom. I'm gonna call this anime avatar glow, okay? All right, so we have that. And next, the ring, so effect off. We're gonna uh, have this be white. I'm gonna go export, we're gonna call this anime avatar ring. Do works for us. Um, for this thing, I think I'm just gonna because I don't want to make a rotated frame on uh, on studio in studio because there are certain implications with using a rotated frame. Anime level frame. All right, next we have let's see. Okay, this whole thing is basically, all right, good. So this entire thing is just one export. So I'm gonna group all this up, all this, you know, right click, export, you know, anime, back. That's what I'm gonna call it. And lastly, we have the health bar. So for the, uh, for the health bar, I'm just gonna go white. I'm gonna call this anime health. All right. That is pretty good. Like I said, there are a million of stylization uh, options for us. You can add, you know, glows like this. You can add textures. You can add shapes. You can add just about anything. Um, just get creative, really. But I think this looks fine if we simulate how this would look. It looks something like this. If you ask me, that looks pretty good. 
I mean, picture that in a game with, you know, the map, the rest of the UI, you know, sounds and stuff. I think this is a uh, quite a nice looking piece of UI. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys inside of Roblox Studio and we're going to get this imported and built into a tangible piece of UI for us to use. Okay, so here I am. I am importing all of our all of our assets right here. And in the meantime, all right, I just somehow merged these two for, uh, thingies. I don't want to. <laughs> Can I fix it? Okay. So I'm, I'm using UI tools right here. All right, if you guys are wondering. Uh, anyways, anchor and properties. Uh, bring this thing up here. Um, okay, all right, let's get right into it. We're wasting time. Screen UI, anime, making a frame called canvas. Why? It's nice to have a canvas frame as a container so we can control uh, the rest of the UI. Okay, so the container size which is basically the entire thing is 657 uh, 657 oops 657 and 209 make this red so we can see the bounding box of how we should uh, compile our assets so it is um, according to our design from before basically that is the idea here so i think the first thing for me is the image label we're gonna go for our avatar so avatar boom and we have no actually let's do back the anime back that is the biggest piece so paste anime back 545 and 163 so 545 163 I think inside of back, we're gonna add the avatar on top. Does it make sense? And no, uh, <laughs> add avatar inside of container. So avatar is three items. We have the main avatar thing, anime avatar two eight. Uh, it's just square or two and nine, I suppose. It does not matter. Ah. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna add a simple, simple gradient for anime avatar. Go for a lighter shade right in the middle, and then a darker shade. Or actually, just do this. Inside of avatar, we're gonna add our ring. Paste and the size is gonna be 182. 182 by 182. When I hit scale, we add gradient. Just change the color, but uh, I think it'd be fun for us to try a grading of some sort. Um, so let's go ahead and try this out, shall we? Um, yeah, I mean, it's 
looks fine. Looks pretty good. Um, okay. We're almost done. Inside the back, yeah, the health. So health, I'm gonna get paste right here, and the health is gonna be five, five seventeen, I think, by ninety-seven. Here we are. Boom scale. Make sure you position this properly. Um, this is not behaving the way I would like this to. Alright, so here's our health. I'm gonna add a gradient and I'm not gonna go back for the colors. I'm just gonna remake it. Um, so I'm gonna go for nice greenish color here. Select and brighten. I'll keep this very, very simple. Now you can change the angle obviously if you want. If you prefer this kind of look, we can just keep it like this. Like that, uh, that is also fine. So let's make sure everything is scaled. We're gonna hide this background. Scale, 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 scale. All we do is scale. And now let's take a look. Here is our beautiful, beautiful anime health bar UI. If we take the container and uh, you can position this like point fifteen and. Too. Now you can see we have an awesome anime health bar. That is basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Check out our store. That is very important because the store is what keeps us going. All right. So if you guys can show some support, I would highly appreciate it. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.